Hi, my name is Judy L. Moore and I'm a freelance editor with Black Wolf Editorial Services. Over the course of a variety of different videos, I've been showing you how to use Scrivener to your full advantage as a writer. Today, I'm going to show you one of the features in Scrivener that could be incredibly useful. I'm talking in particular about the name generator. Just as a reminder, I am using a Windows-based system. However, there is very little difference between the Windows version and the Mac version. For those of you who are using Windows, you can find your name generator. If we come up here under Tools, Writing Tools, and it's down at the bottom of the list, the name generator. If you're under Mac, you will find it under Edit, Writing Tools, and again, it will be at the bottom of the list. So if I open this up, this is what we get. You can choose whether you want male or female names. You can choose an origin of where these names might come from, both first and last names, and there's a big list there. You can choose whether you want the name to start with a particular character, or for that matter, end with a particular character. And, of course, if you want to know about the name in particular, you can actually even search up what that name might mean. I'll give you an example. I know Sophia is a Greek female name, and I actually like the name, so I use it quite frequently in one of my characters. So, Sophia, and exact match, search, and it means wise. It's one of the reasons why I like using the character name. Alright, so let's generate some names so you can see how this works. We're going to generate some male names, and I like working with Greek names. So we're going to go to Greek last names, but we're going to be a little bit more conventional and we're going to throw in British. Where are you? We'll go English. English first names, but Greek last names. We're going to generate 10 of them and we're going to go generate. And this is the names it's come up with. Now what have we got? Oh, Black Lois. Mm, don't know about that one. Brick Papas, mm, maybe not. Oh, but this one's quite cool. Bryn Patros, oh, that's quite cool. We'll move that one down. So what we can do is we can select that one and then add it to my short list. And then we can generate more names. Hori. Okay, now that could be an interesting name to work with. And you can keep going on like this for as long as you want. And you can keep adding names from various different lists, or if you decide you don't like the name at all, you keep going. Not only that, you can copy your short list to your clipboard. And then when we're in Scrivener itself, we're going to come down, we're going to quickly create a text file here so I don't overwrite anything. Just leave it untitled and paste control V. It's a nice, fun, simple tool. So if you are stuck on a name, Scrivener has a way of helping. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you next time.